Paw Paw Lot and Lodge here in Paw Paw, Michigan. Like sharp pain just right here. I already gave you. I already gave you. It's telling me, give me again. But yeah, you know, you, you can't follow any of this. Just for real. Because whatever you did to, to Drew, and I don't know who that was or what you are, but you know, what you did to Kennedy or John wasn't okay. So you don't have permission to do that ever again. You don't have permission to follow us. I don't really want, ever want to see you again, so. That was that's the fucking what we sound. Were that's what we were hearing. Yep. Pop, pop. It did. I'm getting out of here. All right, so here we are. We got the freaking boys. We're here, well, and women. <laughs> We're here at the Paw Paw Lot and Lodge here in Paw Paw, Michigan, here to conduct an investigation for tonight till about, what, two in the morning? Um, I guess Drew will tell you a little bit about what's happened here and what information we do know about the place. We really honestly don't know a lot about this place. Originally, we thought this was the original Masonic Temple in Paw Paw. We actually found out this is the right. second building uh the, the brother here at the lodge all he could tell us that the, the previous building was located down the road on the corner he didn't say if it was down where the hotel's at if it was east of here what it's the building just across from brewster's just across from brewster's on the corner yep that's okay. the original Mason building. all right so danny knows um as for the hauntings paranormal activity and stuff it's really been limited to physical contact, noises, nothing um, evil, anything like that. So far, of course, holding Masonic meetings and stuff, they were never here till two o'clock in the morning. So we'll see what happens tonight, especially having two women here. That is, that's just something that don't happen at a Masonic lodge. 
That's why we have the Easter Star for the women, the equivalency of the Masonic Lodge for the men. Women do not come into a Masonic Lodge. So to have two young women here tonight, that's going to be definitely a trigger object, um, possibly for whatever could be here. So that's pretty much the history and what we're going to be looking for tonight. What else you got? Let's go catch some ghosts and we'll see you out in the lodge. My name is Drew. I would like to thank you for accepting me and my friends into your temple tonight. Hopefully we can learn something about you, find out who has uh, made the noises in the past or made the physical contact in the past, which has alarmed some people maybe caught them off guard. You can talk to me through this little box in my hand right here. As you can see, it is emitting an energy that you can use. All right, guys, we are here in the main here at the temple. Uh, I'm already getting tweaking going on here. Do you know my friend Ishmael? Tyler. Who am I speaking to? Am I speaking to Tyler? Power. Are you trying to tell me that the Masonic Brotherhood has power? Are you referring to the power that our devices are giving out? trying to tell me Seems like someone is trying to communicate. Oh, now we're getting a raisin graph. Alone. So, oh, oh, oh. Stroke chest, stroke chest. It's saying chest right now, previous to that was stroke. Did you die from a stroke? I wasn't making the connection at the time, but one thing I remember about my grandfather back in the 70s is when his master would come over for coffee or to visit, he would put his palm a fist against his left breast and stroke it across his chest. Is this what the entity is trying to say?
I have never seen readings this high on this on this floor. Give me. Give me. Give you what? I believe that the entity I'm communicating with was requesting a proper greeting, possibly making it a former master of what? this temple. What would you like me to give you? Or did somebody give you a stroke? Danny? Hold on, guys. I'm... Something just come at me. Something just touched my chest right here and I felt every single bit of energy in my body just kind of spill out. about 15 minutes, 10 minutes, whatever the case may be. As you can see, I got my K2 uh, back on the strike block that they hit the hammer on at the end, of, beginning and ending of meetings. Um, I don't know what that was. I have no clue. I, you know, I got stroke chest and then give me and it felt like something knuckle punched me just to the left of my sternum right in my heart I mean it just took the air the energy everything out of me I have no clue what it was I pulled out the uh, digital voice recorder we're gonna see uh, if we can come across anything uh, like I said, I got the K2 back here. You can see it's already reacting. Uh, it's throwing off um, low range. Uh, first stage, second stage, low range already. Um, we'll see what happens. Hello, my name is Drew. I would like to thank you for welcoming us into your temple. Um, could you please tell me who was interacting with me earlier, who touched me, who was taking my energy, um, so I will know how to address you, so I will know who I'm dealing with. I would really like to get to know you. I'd like to get to know your stories. I'd like to get to know the stories of this building. Uh, I would very much like to uh, become a member of the, the Masonic Order.
touched me who was taking my energy. Um, so I will know how to address you, so I will know who I'm dealing with. I would really like to... That was weird. ...my energy. Um, so I will know how to address you, so I will know who I'm dealing with. I God. I don't think it was God. Get to know you. I'd like to get to know you. I don't think that was God. Guys, I don't know if you can hear. I'm getting footsteps from each side. Now understand everybody else is that direction. Behind the camera in two separate rooms filming. Danny is actually downstairs filming. But I am getting distinct and I just heard a doorknob rattle. Now I understand what the brother means about contact and noises. We're going to figure this out. It's me again. I'm back. I have my little device back that you was using. I already gave you. I already gave you. It's telling me, give me again. I've already give you. You can't have any more of my energy. Who are you? Just said shape. You're at the altar. There you are. direction on this one all right guys no sooner did I turn the camera on and walk to the altar I got alone it's still trying to communicate trying to say to me come on speak up I know you're trying to hell is that? K. 
candle. That is a candle. You're correct. Who's referring to that? And it says candle. Disembody. All right, guys, just a second to go. Uh, we I got disembodied on this thing. How was that? going on in this place I don't know what's going on in this place I am hearing movement all around me I'm hearing floorboards creaking in this room I'm hearing footsteps in this room if, if either one of the doors would open I would see them open I'm just not okay it's that sign behind me. It's got me jumpy in here, guys. And you know I never get jumpy about anything. Weird noises, footsteps, disembodied. That's a new one. I've never got that word before on any of our devices. We're going to keep this thing rolling. This place is just as active as I hoped it was going to be. Saturday, August 20th, 2022, coming to Hartford, Michigan at the Van Buren Poorhouse Museum, it's Ghostorama. Ghostorama is a one-of-a-kind event. It's a paranormal meet and greet slash flea market slash Comic-Con, car show, and much, much more. There'll be paranormal groups, the Ghostbusters, the Mystery Machine, spooky vendors, live band, ghost tour, Jurassic Park, killer cars, food truck, disc jockey, historical museum, Kid Haunted House, and much more. Van Buren County Historical Museum. That's right, out at 58471 Red Arrow Highway, Hartford, Michigan, 1 p.m. to 7 p.m. It's an outdoor market, which is free to the public. That's right, you heard me. It's open to the public. There'll be a museum tour, $5 per person. Also, from 9 to 11, a ghost tour, $20 per person. That's right, Ghost Rama is hitting West Michigan. Saturday, August 20th, 2022, at the Hartford Van Buren Poor House Museum. This is sponsored by Southern Michigan Paranormals, UnrestrictedRadio.com, the Great Lakes Ghostbuster Coalition, How to Halloween, Frankenfest, and the Midwest Parahistorical Society. Yep, Drew's right here. Do you like talking with Drew? Yes? I like talking with you too. Is Drew helping you? Maybe not all of you that are here were Masons. Are there people here from the building before? We're not going to go away. We're, we're here to talk to you. We're not here to judge you. We're not here to ask you to move on. You're safe here with us. I promise. I'm not here to judge you. I promise. Can you tell us your name? Did 
The young lady that was talking to us, can you tell us your name? Missy? Missy, did you die here? Yes? Did you live here? Missy, did you live here? Did you have a business here? It sounded like it said she was a, and then... Missy, did you have a business here? Seance. I heard seance. Yeah, hi. Let's back this down a little bit. One at a time, please. There's a lot of you trying to talk to us at once and it's confusing us. How many of us are in this room right now? How many of us do you see? Yep, we're here for ghosts. That was pretty plain. Mm -hmm. How many people do you see sitting in this room on the pews? A couple. Yeah. Well, it's more than two. I see somebody across the way. Would you for, would you prefer to speak to a female? I'm going to ask some really strange questions, okay? I, I just want to see where you're at. Do you know what year this is? What? Yes? Can you tell me the number? What year is this? Difficult. Give me a number. What year do you think this is? Yes. You need a lot of ones. I mean, I'm hearing a lot of ones. Ones? Yeah. Six. Would, would you like me to tell you what what year it is? It's 2022. Isn't that amazing? I'm not lying to you, it's 2022. Do you know who the president is? Who's our president? Do you know that women have the right to vote now? All right, so we're here um, kind of in this middle foyer, I guess, type area between all the rooms where the actual yeah, lodge the is, yeah, yeah, in there. There, there. Down there was it? There is where the stairways downstairs is. That's another room. Well, there's stairways down that way. Oh, is there? There's a stair right here. Um, so we got all. I think it was an or two. So we got, like you see already, we got all our devices splayed out. We got an SB7, we got a REM pod, we got the classic K2, we got the Mel meter over there leading to the stair entrance where Randy is right box. now. We got the music box. Yeah. Um, so if anything wants to walk up the stairs or down the stairways through the threshold, that will go off. Um, we got an EM pump in the corner. Um, like I said, prior to this, literally like in the past like 10 minutes, that REM pod has gone off twice. Um, also, we have splayed out is a lot of the uh, clothing or uniforms. I don't know if these were worn by a lot of people here, but they were in this closet. We also have, this is really cool. I didn't point this out in the video yet. I don't know if you see it. But 
but this is an actual Henderson Ames, Frank Henderson sword. Um, if you didn't know, if you ever watched our Henderson Castle investigation, Frank Henderson lived and owned uh, Henderson Castle back in the day. So that is super, super cool. So we're gonna see, we're already spiking already, um, what we can pick up here. Uh, so I mean, Drew, do you wanna say anything? To start it off? I'm, I'm sitting here monitoring my, uh, my talk. It just said push, allow it. Push, allow it. Yeah, it's on allow it now. It went to push and then automatically went straight to allow it. When you were playing the sword down. So, does any of the spirits in this room, do you want to touch us or push us? Because I fully give permission for anyone in this room to be touched or pushed. It seems like you already did that to Drew earlier, so... Um, did you like when I... Do you not like this sword being touched? It seems like um, the guy earlier um, chased. Chased. Kind of like a weird, like growling noise, but. Drew, do you think it could be moved away from the rock pot a little, just so if it goes off, there's no just debating on it whether it's here or not? That's good. Because, like I said, you have to be real close like that. Yeah, but just, really just the blind. bad, bad. Is there any bad things that are going to happen to us because we're in this room with all this stuff splayed out? Do you not like that we put this all here for you? Or do you like this? Well, and the pushing thing from earlier, I explained it to you a little bit outside. Knowing what I do know about the Masons with my grandfather and my uncles, my great-grandfather, all being involved in the Masons, I was privy to little things growing up and I found out too that during that um, filming earlier in the main temple when it said uh, chest stroke and then I felt the sharp pain in my chest your higher level um, masters will instead of using the slicing motion across the chest meaning to cut your throat they will actually make a fist over here and pull, they will stroke across the chest to expose the heart. So, and then it said, show me or give me. And I didn't. So I got thumped, which took the wind out of me and stuff. So that's, maybe it was not as evil as we initially thought it was, but it was trying to get a point across that, you know, I'm in there doing greetings and hellos and, yeah. you know, certain Masonic phrases and yeah. stuff that Masons use with each other. Yeah. I didn't yeah. respond yeah. properly by yeah. Yeah. doing the chest stroke, so it thumped me to get the point across. Is there a Larry? I mean, I mean I'm oh, just lying. Right. Is I'm there sure. a Larry here? You just picked up Larry in here, well, put here and then Larry. Mm -hmm. Which I'm sure there's probably a Larry somewhere. There's gotta be. Is there a Larry here that wants to communicate with us? Can you show that? Show us that you're here by touching one of these devices? Like I said, we mean you no harm. We just want to get to know you. I've also got an EMF pump over there. What? Is that that EMF pump over there pumping? Yeah. Okay. That's what I was just trying to tell the spirit. We also have an EMF oh, yeah. pump up that's pumping out energy if you need any. Now, if you need any energy to, to, to play with one of these devices or touch one of us, you know, like I said, like Randy said over there, there's that EM pump over there that pumps out electromagnetic energy. Do you each want to ask a question going around the table? Like, Tommy, you start and just go around the table? Yeah, uh, so I guess like I said earlier, we, we splayed out all this, uh, I guess, relic or clothing that maybe possibly some of you in this room, if you're here with us, worn. Are you okay with us having this splayed out, or is this, is this offend you? Very nice. When you mentioned having the stuff splayed out here, clothing that somebody may have, that somebody may have worn, it said certain. Certain. 
Okay. Okay. And Randy got burnt, burnt, burnt three, three times. times. Burnt, burnt, burnt. Yeah, three times. And now that's going off. Was that you, Larry? You want to go? Mm -hmm. Any question you'd like? Okay, I mean, I guess I'll go with something simple. Actually, no. I don't, I don't have any questions. <laughs> I was going to say something simple, but we don't have the spirit back up, so that's. But you can ask it to touch the run pod or something. Yeah. Is that your question? Is that your question, Joe? No, I'm just Are you trying to play? I'm just saying. Wait, yeah. so what if we just kind of be quiet for a minute? What if everyone like puts a hand on something on the table? <laughs> like make a connection, get some yeah. sort of physical, right. and just everyone just kind of chill for a minute. See so if anything. If you like that we're touching these items, can you show us that you're happy with this or upset by making one of these devices go off or spike? You can pick any device. We just want to make a connection with you as we want you to make a connection with us. I'm going to take this off the table if that's all right. I'm going to hold this. Burnt, burnt. What? It said burp again. Oh, burnt. Yeah. That's what it said earlier three Wasn't times. The last time it said it was when he picked yeah. that up? Yeah. It was like saying something about the stuff on the table. It keeps saying burnt, burnt, burnt. So we opened another door. So if any of these, if there's any spirits that wants to come through through any of these other rooms in this room or out of this room, if you walk by that, just like Joe did over there, it'll play some cool music for you. That thing's coming off. Really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is, Is that because you were walking in front of it while it calibrated? No. I don't think so. Okay, wait, 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 wait. If that's a spirit, if that's you playing around with the music box, can you can you make that stop in the count of three? If that's you, I'm gonna give you the count of three to stop playing with it, alright? One, two, three. Once again, if, if that's you playing with that, I'm going to give you the count of three to stop playing with it. One, two, three. Should we try? I'm going to try calibrating it again. Yeah. Just to be sure. I don't know. What. standing right there does it it's not it's like hesitating and stuff like something's kind of like moving around back and forth now it's probably picking up Drew's hand right there I don't think so holy shit whoa, 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 whoa. I did not know if he was in there <laughs> oh, oh my god, my god. <laughs> god you scared the I shit thought you saw out of us over there. oh my like, god <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I did not know you were in there. I just had a heart attack. Great! You just gave all of us a heart attack for no reason. Yeah, turn it off again. I wonder, this is weird. Reca Recalibrate it again. But yeah, you're, you're sure that the door isn't like... 
That's oh, a, yeah, that's strange. That it's it's no, it, it, it should that. not. Here in just a moment, after recalibrating the music box, we are all shocked at probably some of the most compelling evidence we have ever gathered at an investigation for a full contact intended interaction with an entity. Let us know you're here. This thing is starting to go up to 22. It was at zero the whole time it was on the... Thank you. Can you, can you come... Just stop, like, completely for at least two seconds. Dude, this is crazy. Like, I think out of... Make it play again. Make it play again for us. No, it just flashed. Make a song. Hey, can you continuously step in front of it again? It says speak. I know you got everyone watching you right now, but you weren't afraid a little bit ago. What do you want to say? Check. Want to say ding? Okay, there was a ding. Can you walk over to Drew? Yeah. Walk over to Drew for us. Come on. Very good. Good job. If it was picking up Drew, it would be continuously going. Oh, this is really slow, man. Come on. No, Drew, just put your hands down. Can I put them up again. You're not picking me up. No. This thing just Come on. All the way to Stand right in front of the pretty little box. Yeah. Come on. Okay. Come on. Don't be afraid. Stand in front of the little box and touch my hand. Come on. See, his hands are out there. Wasn't that? This is probably the most. Oh, guys. Like ice cold right here. Like on these fingers right here, these three fingers all the way to the tips. Ice cold. Just like all of a sudden. This is like badass like shit right here. Yeah. Come on, don't be afraid. You're fine. Walk in front of the little box, touch my hands again. This is seriously like the most reaction I've ever gotten out of the, the music box out of any investigation. Like this is. Here, step this way. Come on. You gotta step, no, step this way. Can you go back over to Drew? Drew, do you wanna back up just a little bit? My, my voice machine said teen earlier, but you're not a teen. You're little. You're only like five or six, because you're touching me level one right now. How old are you, five? Step in front of that little box, let me know. Five, six. How many times did it say it? Right there, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six. Can I say how many? Did you live in this building before these people came to be here? Yes. Yes. Can you make the music box 
Now I've, I've set out another device for you, so if you want to keep playing with that, you can, but if you want to walk right over here towards down the stairs, I have a REM pod set up, and all you got to do is come over here by this antenna and play with it like that, and that will go off. You can play with either one. I'm just giving you another option if you want to play with another toy. Can you go play with that other device? Saturday, August 20th, 2022. Coming to Hartford, Michigan at the Van Buren Poorhouse Museum, it's Ghostorama. Ghostorama is a one-of-a-kind event. It's a paranormal meet and greet slash flea market slash comic con car show and much much more. There'll be paranormal groups, the Ghostbusters, the Mystery Machine, spooky vendors, live band, ghost tour, Jurassic Park, killer cars, food truck, disc jockey, historical museum, kid haunted house, and much more. Van Buren County Historical Museum. That's right, out at 58471 Red Arrow Highway, Hartford, Michigan. 1 p.m. to 7 p.m. It's an outdoor market, which is free to the public. That's right. You heard me. It's open to the public. There'll be a museum tour, $5 per person. Also, from 9 to 11, a ghost tour, $20 per person. That's right. Ghost Rama is hitting West Michigan, Saturday, August 20th, 2022, at the Hartford Van Buren Poor House Museum. This is sponsored by Southern Michigan Paranormals, UnrestrictedRadio.com, the Great Lakes Ghostbuster Coalition, How to Halloween, Frankenfest, and the Midwest Parahistorical Society. Check this out. Can you can you make one of these devices go off? 
Or can you even tell us one of your names? I'm not familiar with many of you in here because I don't know much of your names, but if you could tell us one of your names, that'd be great. Another thing you could do is if you could tell us how many are in this room right now. How many people from our group are in this room right now? Wow. Jacob. That was like the clearest name I have ever. All right, it's all you, bud. <laughs> all right, so that was very, very good. I heard your name loud and clear, which I heard Jacob. If Jacob's still in this room with us, we just all want to know if that was you playing with that little music box we had going on earlier. Was that you? Either say yes or no, or say someone else. The other question I have is, can you tell us how many of you are in the room? Is it just one person trying to communicate with us, or is there more? I'll add one more question. Since you answered me about who I was trying to speak with, can you tell me what my name is? Loud and clear. I heard something, but it's all the way up at top volume. <coughs> I'll look at this tomorrow morning, first thing. I want, can you let Kennedy try it? Yeah. Turn this women in here. If you're comfortable with it, can you give me a yes or no? And I want to know more about who this Jacob is. Can you tell me how old you are? Give me a clear number. Or can you possibly tell me why you're here? Can you even tell me what any of our names in here are? 
either me or this one standing next to me or even the one holding the device. Back to the beginning. There's no way to fast forward. our priest. He's the only other one in this room besides me who's an ordained minister. And my friend. And like this like sharp pain just right here and it almost felt like I, like, I don't even know how to explain it, like, almost like a spider bite, or it just felt like I was just getting, like, stabbed with, like, a needle, because it just, like, clamped on, and then as soon as it was done, it was just this, like, horrible stinging pain, like, all throughout my leg right here, I don't know, and then when I, like, showed the guys, it was just, there's a spot, like, that big where it just looks like something, like, grabbed me, like, with teeth, like, yeah, just. Yeah, it looks almost like a, like a bite mark, like, yeah. a, like someone bit you on the thigh. Yeah. But and then it just it's like all hot and yeah. I don't think they like having women in here. Mm -mm. Now we were just discussing this as we were packing everything up. Um, John too had something earlier that was a, a, a pain 
in his left. That's okay. I'll be testicle. My I'm, my I'm, groin I'm, and uh, testicular region. I started having some discomfort while we were down in the basement. It almost felt like I was being kind of like grabbed, sort of like manhandled, uh, which was very peculiar. And uh, I was I was telling him as we were talking about it that about an hour and a half or so ago, I too was having a real sharp pain in my upper left thigh and in my left testicle. So whatever it is, is getting real... Real friendly. <laughs> friendly is a good word. <laughs> getting real acquainted. I can do it in editing. Like you can see dust, but look, right when I take when the flash goes on, the or it's like right there. Mm -hmm. Do you see like all the dust is moving and then that orb just fucking yep. like, look. You can see all the dust moving and then oh, as soon as I flash yeah. it, it's right there. Dude, I don't like I like I already got goosebumps. I don't want I don't want to sit here like Let's get out of here then. I don't You wanna say the thing? We are now leaving the pre the premises of this building, you don't have permission to follow any of my, well, myself or either of my friends here tonight, so. Or Drew. You can follow Drew, because Drew. <laughs> but yeah, you know, you, you can't follow any of us, Drew's for real. Because whatever you did to, to Drew, and if I don't know who that was or what you are, but, you know, what you did to Kennedy or John wasn't okay, so. You don't have permission to do that ever again. You don't have permission to follow us. I don't really want, ever want to see you again, so. That was the fucking what we were sound. Hearing. That's what we were hearing. Yep. Pop, pop. It did. I'm getting out of here. You do not have permission to harm anyone. You do not have permission to follow anyone home. You do not have permission to hurt, pursue, trek, anything. This is your home. You were given the chance to be helped, to be moved, and to be able to leave. You decided to stay, stay. You are not welcomed to follow. What? What? I really hope it was just the wire. The fuck did you see? I looked like something fun. Keep its head that's, out. That's Let's what I go. was saying. Yeah, I'm not Let's fucking go. What? No, yeah, there something is like fucking keeping its head out. That's where I, I saw think, it. That's I don't where know. I saw it. There's like a white block. Okay, see where my shadow's pointing? Right there. <gasps> no, oh no, dude. Goodness. There's literally okay, there no. Okay, see where my finger's pointing? Dude, there's like a little round shadow that keeps like poking its head out. Like just like back and forth. No. Okay. I don't want that. Well, yeah, I think I'm in, I'm like right on the side of your camera, Drew, so I should be in the frame. Is this good for you guys? <laughs> there you go. I don't know, but it's getting better as we go along. Yeah. 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 yeah, why is everyone all fucking yeah. I don't like, know. Spread out a little bit. That's okay, I'll be testicle, 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 testicle. <laughs> my I'm, my I'm, groin I'm, and uh, testicular region.